what's up guys welcome to a new video my name is prince mason today i want to show you my minimalist editing and gaming setup as you guys know i recently moved to canada so i was just trying to put something small together something small and affordable but that would get the job done you know get my retouching out of the way get my video editing for youtube out of the way and i could game a little bit on so let's get straight into today's video the first part of my setup is my ikea table probably my least favorite part it looks good aesthetically but it feels slightly flimsy but i cannot complain for less than 200 dollars it gets the job done the goal is to build up gradually i plan to upgrade to one of those sit stand desks in the future but for now this will do i also did some cable management using cheap velcro ties and some cable clips which look good i won't win any awards for how it turned out but i'm proud of my work and, and the outcome Now, the next part of my setup that I absolutely love is my Ego Chair Pro from Autonomous. I think that's it, the Ego Chair Pro. Now, it had a different name before, but that's what it's called right now. Now, the most important part of a chair is that it supports your back that's one two it is very comfortable because if you edit like me and you know um, edit videos edit photos and do a lot of gaming too right on the side you'd realize that you're spending a long time sitting so you want something that can support your back like i said and also be really comfortable to sit in and this chair passes the mark for both Now let's talk about what is powering my whole setup and it's crazy that the whole setup is being powered by something called mini so this is the m1 mac mini i did a lot of research and i wanted something that was small affordable but still powerful enough to get the job done when it comes to video editing photo editing and you know any other thing that i want to do maybe audio processing and all that right and the m1 mac mini is your go-to when you're talking about small affordable and powerful those three words are not meant to be together you know but with the new m1 chips you can put three of them together and have the m1 mac mini so i 100 recommend it and i suggest you get a refurbished one from apple i wish i had seen those deals before buying a new one but pff, oh well okay let's talk about the elephant in the room that 32 inch screen with its slim bezels that's the dell u32 <laughs> hold on hold on <laughs> let me check what the name is dell needs to start starting out his name in this it's, it's, it's terrible that's the dell ultra sharp u3223 qe yes each thing has what it stands for and i absolutely do not know what they stand for but i mean dell come on look Apple just named it as the Mac Studio display. You, you can do better than that. This is a 4K 32 inch monitor with a 16.9 aspect ratio that comes with what they call the IPS black technology. I know this is pretty new and it's one of the first monitors to come out with this technology. And it's really cool because you know, the blacks get really black. Now I'm not going to say they get OLED black, but it get dark enough for me. And um, I had to calibrate my screen and the calibration reduced the darkness. So yeah, it looks really black. and and it looks really good also this comes with different mounting options unlike the mac studio that you have to spend an extra 400 dollars to get like a stand that can tilt you know swivel now with this it comes with a stand that you can lift up down you can literally adjust it i think even 90 degrees you can adjust it whichever way you want it just works perfectly it comes with 100 rec 709 100 srgb and a 98 dci p3 color gamut yes i know that's a lot and it sounds like a lot of gibberish but what that just means is this reproduces colors very well like the color reproduction on this is excellent but i still had to calibrate mine to look perfect but i think every photographer should should definitely calibrate their their monitors so that they can get accurate colors okay moving on let's talk about a few accessories that make my life easier So my Wacom tablet is an extension of me. I cannot retouch without my Wacom tablet. If I do not have my Wacom tablet, then retouching is out of the door. That's how important Wacoms are to me. Well, I'd say graphics tablets in general, but I have not used any other graphics tablet that is not a Wacom. Is it Wacom or a Wacom? I don't know, whatever you call it, but I call it a Wacom, right? There are other companies that make graphics tablets. So if you cannot afford to get a Wacom right now, just invest in one of those. And over time, you'd make enough money to be able to buy something that is just a little bit more expensive, right? Now, I don't see graphics tablets as expensive, except you're spending a thousand dollars for $200. Um, it's decent. I mean, you're going to be using this thing for the next four to five years 
The toolbox is the next thing that's become an absolute must for me when retouching. The customizable controller makes life easier when using Photoshop, Lightroom, Capture One, or some video editing softwares like Final Cut. I can easily roll a knob to make a brush bigger or scroll in to zoom in or scroll out to zoom out. Just scroll to zoom. I must say though, it has a steep learning curve, but I think it's worth it. So I recently reached out to Toolbox because I thought I misplaced my Toolbox and I was trying to get them to send me another Toolbox before the Toolbox Elite was released. Yes, I've said Toolbox a lot. Yeah, but they said, get in line. Now, I wasn't trying to get one for free. I was actually going to pay. I just wanted to get it before every other person because I thought I misplaced the one I had right now. Fortunately, I found it, but I'm still going to buy the Toolbox Elite because the one I have right now, you have to connect it with the USB-C cable to um, your PC. So I use the USB-C cable to connect it to my Mac Mini. Now, you know the Mac Mini doesn't come with a lot of ports and I love my table looking clean and wireless. So what I'm going to do is still place an order for the Toolbox Elite. Now, the Toolbox I have was sent to me by Toolbox. So big shout out to them for you know sending me one i didn't think i needed it until i started using it and now i'm so used to it it has a learning curve to it you know just like your wacom has a learning curve to it this is a little bit steep but trust me once you get used to it you would not want to go any other way the top box is an amazing and essential part of my retouching right now so let's talk about other accessories right i have my keyboard, which is directly from Apple, it's just the Apple keyboard. I love it because it's minimalistic and it's just simple and it's just easy to use. It connects seamlessly to the M1 Mac Mini, no problems, no Bluetooth connectivity and all that issue that a lot of people tend to have. But for my mouse, I decided to go with the Logitech mouse. And I think this is the Mix Master. I don't, I don't know what they're called, but looks really good, looks decent, works for me when I am editing videos. I absolutely love the mouse and I feel like it's going to be a worthwhile investment. It's pretty much the same price with your um your apple mouse i guess but it just feels better in the hand and it just seems like it's going to be a lot more functional but we'll see i do miss the gestures though for the apple mouse i mean if you have an apple laptop and you're used to all those gestures i do miss it but let's see what this traditional but advanced traditional mouse looks um works like um over the next few months this beautiful desk mat that you're seeing is from minimalist desk setup and it looks and feels great but let me warn you it took about three weeks for me to get it so if you are trying to get one of these just be prepared to wait but do i think it's worth the wait i don't know they, they should tell us what their delivery times are but i think it's it's such a beautiful desk mat um i also have a few ssds that i use um, to just edit from and I would recommend that you also edit from SSDs. Now for my gaming, I just game with my PS5. I don't have the money or the funds to invest in a proper gaming PC and get like a GTX 3090. I don't have none of that. <laughs> Literally moved and I am just settling in. So everything right now is going to be simple and minimalist. You guys get what I'm saying? So yeah, I give my PS5, absolutely love it. Um, I play mostly FIFA, so I just connect it to my monitor using the HDMI port and I connect my PC to my monitor using the USB-C port. Um, simple, easy it's just easy to switch between both whenever i'm tired i just switch to my ps5 whenever i want to work i just switch back to the mac mini so everything just works that's about it this is my minimalist setup if you are trying to buy any of these things i've mentioned in this video please support this channel by using the links in the description below that way we get a slight commission it's called affiliate marketing and that's what we're getting to right now but anyways thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next video have an amazing day guys peace out